Dive into the world of Socrates, exploring his life, philosophies, and the Athens that shaped him. Let's uncover what makes his quest for wisdom timeless. To comprehend the intellectual groundwork that defines Socrates, one must first journey to 5th century BC Athens, a city vibrant with political fervor and a burgeoning appreciation for the arts and philosophy. This era, ripe with intellectual curiosity, provided the perfect milieu for Socrates' philosophical explorations. Symposiums, particularly noted in accounts such as the one hosted by Agathon, served not merely as social gatherings, but as vital arenas for the exchange and challenge of ideas. It was in these lively debates that Socrates refined his method of inquiry, probing into the nature of ethics and human understanding, setting the foundation for Western philosophical thought. Simultaneously, the Athenian agora, bustling with daily commerce and conversation, became another crucible for Socratic dialogue. Here, amidst the chatter of the marketplace, Socrates engaged citizens in discussions that often led them to question their perceived wisdom, encouraging a society-wide introspection on moral virtues and the essence of knowledge. Against the backdrop of the Peloponnesian War, Socrates' quest for ethical understanding gained urgency. The conflict's moral and societal upheaval propelled his examination of virtue and the just life, insisting that amidst chaos, a steadfast adherence to ethical living was essential for societal well-being. Thus, through symposiums, the agora, and the turmoil of war, 5th century BC Athens meticulously sculpted Socrates' pursuits into a relentless quest for wisdom, deeply intertwined with the fabric of his society. Ancient Greek symposiums weren't just about wine. They were intellectual battlegrounds where ideas on virtue and love were deeply contested. Picture a gathering, like the one hosted by Agathon, where the air is thick with philosophical debate, sparking the inception of Socratic inquiry. This method, synonymous with Socrates, revolutionized thinking, emphasizing critical questioning to dismantle assumptions and discover truths. Now, transport yourself to the bustling Agora of Athens, not merely a marketplace, but a vibrant forum for exchanging ideas, where Socrates, amidst traitors and citizens, turned conventional wisdom on its head, urging a societal reflection on ethics and knowledge. However, the serene landscape of thought was dramatically altered by the Peloponnesian War. Athens and Sparta's clash wasn't just a military battle. It was a crisis of morality that deeply disturbed Socrates. Observing the moral disintegration around him, he delved into ethical inquiries, probing the essence of a virtuous life amidst societal chaos. These tumultuous times thrust Socratic philosophy into the forefront, pronouncing a compelling narrative that the unexamined life is not worth living, thus setting a crucial cornerstone for Western philosophy through the diligent pursuit of knowledge and virtue. Athens thrived as a beacon of democracy in the 5th century BC, providing a dynamic environment where citizens directly participated in governance through innovative practices like the lottery system for selecting leaders. The Agora, the bustling heart of Athens, wasn't just a marketplace, but a vital arena for the robust exchange of ideas, symbolizing the essence of democratic engagement. Symposiums, more than social gatherings, were the bedrock of civic dialogue and critical debate, playing a fundamental role in shaping the democratic ethos that percolated through art, education, and public discourse, crafting the societal fabric of Athens. In this vibrant democratic context, Socrates distinguished himself not merely as a critic, but as a visionary reformer, advocating for a form of governance underpinned by knowledge and virtue. His method of relentless questioning didn't just challenge individual beliefs, but encouraged a societal introspection on the values and processes underpinning decisions. Socrates' critique of the existing democratic model was profound, promoting the idea that true leadership required wisdom and moral integrity. This approach stimulated discussions on the qualifications for effective governance and left a legacy that continues to resonate in modern perspectives on democracy and governance, emphasizing the critical role of informed and reflective participation in the democratic process. The Socratic method revolutionizes the way we think, offering a framework that cultivates an environment of critical thinking through asking profound, systematic questions. Rooted deeply in the philosophical debates of Socrates in 5th century BC Athens, 
This method encourages the questioning of assumptions and beliefs. By challenging ideas directly, Socrates led his interlocutors towards greater self-awareness and understanding, highlighting the method's enduring legacy as a tool for philosophical inquiry and ethical examination. In educational spheres, this method transforms classrooms into dynamic spaces of active learning. Picture a teacher initiating a dialogue with a question as seemingly simple as, what is justice? This sparks a rigorous student-led discussion that delves into the complexity of the concept, promoting a rich, multifaceted understanding that transcends textbook knowledge. Likewise, in law, the Socratic method sharpens analytical skills and legal reasoning. It mirrors real-world complexities, pushing law students to dissect cases from multiple perspectives, much like Socrates dissected philosophical concepts in the Agora. This intensive questioning prepares students for the nuanced nature of legal practice, refining their ability to navigate the labyrinth of legal principles with agility and insight. The fusion of moral excellence and practical wisdom forms the cornerstone of Socratic thought. Socrates introduced a radically new perspective on virtue, positing it as not just ethical conduct, but as an embodiment of knowledge itself. Consider a scenario where you must choose between multiple paths, each with its moral implications. Socrates would argue that the virtuous choice is not merely a matter of following societal norms, but understanding deeply the essence of good and bad. This understanding, according to him, is predicated on knowledge, shaping ethical action. Furthermore, Socrates redefines happiness, encouraging us to seek eudaimonia, a state of flourishing achieved through living virtuously rather than transient pleasures. This notion resonates with our contemporaneous pursuit of meaningful happiness, moving beyond material satisfactions to finding purpose and fulfillment in ethical living. The principle of self-awareness embodied in the maxim, an unexamined life is not worth living, champions the importance of introspection in achieving knowledge and virtue. This introspection isn't a solitary journey, but a communal quest, inviting dialogue and reflection within the community, showcasing how personal ethics and societal well-being are intricately connected in the weave of Socratic philosophy. The essence of Athenian democracy was innovation, a people power that allowed citizens to participate directly in governance, marking a departure from the ruling dynamics of its time. Socrates, however, introduced a new dimension to this environment by invoking his philosophical methodology, questioning everything, from individual beliefs to the very essence of democracy itself. His approach wasn't merely academic, but profoundly political, challenging Athenians to scrutinize the logic and morality behind their democratic decisions. This critical engagement led to societal tensions, as Socrates' unyielding inquiry into the wisdom of the majority and the fundamentals of governance collided with the democratic ethos of Athens, a clash that would ultimately lead to his trial. Socrates' trial sheds light on the acute societal fears of Athens. The charges of corrupting the youth and impiety didn't just accuse a man but voiced an anxiety over the potential erosion of traditional values and the very moral fabric of the city-state. By detailing these charges and the underlying fears, we grasp the significance of his trial, not only as a pivotal moment in Socratic philosophy, but also as a reflection of the broader conflict between evolving philosophical thought and established societal norms. This dynamic interaction between Socrates' ideas and Athenian democracy underscores the enduring legacy of his thought in the realms of philosophy, ethics, and governance. The trial of Socrates, set against the tumultuous backdrop of post-Peloponnesian War Athens, epitomizes a critical moment when democracy, still licking its wounds from conflict, viewed introspection and intellectual inquiry with suspicion. In this charged environment, Socrates' philosophical pursuits drew ire, leading to charges of corrupting the youth and impiety. His defense, rooted in the conviction of philosophical inquiry as a divine mission for society's moral betterment, showcases his unwavering commitment to truth, even in the face of death. Convicted, he chose the hemlock over renunciation of principles or exile, highlighting his profound dedication to ethics over personal safety. Socrates' legacy, stemming from this historical event, serves as a stark reminder of the inherent tension between societal norms and the quest for truth.
His martyrdom illustrates the peril yet indispensable value of challenging established dogmas, asserting that intellectual freedom and the pursuit of virtue are endeavors worth the ultimate sacrifice. This narrative not only encapsulates the essence of Socrates' trial, but also invites us to reflect on the complex interplay between individual conviction and societal expectations. Socrates' final stand against the charges leveled at him post-Peloponnesian War reveals a profound commitment to his principles over personal safety. Faced with accusations of corrupting Athens' youth and impiety, underlying these formal charges were the broader societal anxieties of a city-state reeling from war's devastation. This period saw heightened conservatism, with a fierce loyalty to state gods and traditions. Socrates' relentless questioning of such norms, coupled with his associations, rendered him an ideal scapegoat for those seeking to restore conventional values. Choosing death by drinking hemlock over escape encapsulates more than mere personal choice. It reflects a deep-seated belief in the laws of Athens and the social contract therein. By refusing his friend's offer of escape, Socrates underscored a fundamental philosophical stance. To benefit from the city's laws and prosperity, but reject them in adversity, would constitute the ultimate betrayal of his convictions. He exemplified this commitment through his acceptance of the death sentence, an act embodying integrity. This unwavering adherence to the principles of law, even unto death, highlights Socrates' ethical dedication, offering a timeless lesson in the values of civic duty and personal integrity amidst societal tumult. Plato, as Socrates' disciple, was instrumental in documenting and thereby preserving the rich tapestry of Socratic dialogues. His works, notably the Apology, encapsulate Socratic teachings centered around ethics and the pursuit of knowledge. This foundational legacy of Socrates, intricately recorded by Plato, offered future generations a window into the profound philosophical inquiries of the era. Moving beyond mere preservation, Plato established the Academy in Athens, a milestone in the realm of philosophical education deeply rooted in Socratic methodologies of critical thinking and inquiry. This institution wasn't just an educational entity, but a cradle of philosophical evolution, nurturing minds to engage in the relentless pursuit of wisdom. Furthermore, Plato's introduction of the theory of forms, inspired by Socratic dialogues, marked a significant divergence into abstract metaphysical ideas. This philosophical venture explored immutable and eternal forms, representing the true essence behind the physical world's imperfections. Herein lies a profound expansion of Socratic teachings, delving into the nature of reality and knowledge, cementing Socrates' enduring impact through Plato's philosophical endeavors. The Socratic method remains a cornerstone of critical thinking, a practice rooted in dialogue to challenge and expand knowledge. At its essence, this method engages participants in deep conversations, systematically questioning assumptions to explore complex ideas. This isn't just about asking questions, but encouraging a rigorous analytical process, a skill particularly honed in educational domains like Socratic seminars. Here, participants are not just learners, but thinkers, actively engaging in dialogues that refine their analytical and problem-solving skills. The positive ripple effects are clear enhanced student-educator relationships, and a more intellectually vibrant classroom environment. Transitioning, we examine Socrates' philosophical legacy in addressing today's ethical quandaries. His principles of inquiry, virtue, and self-awareness provide a timeless framework for navigating challenges like the delicate balance between technology, privacy, and security. By applying these enduring concepts, we find that Socratic ethics offer profound insights into resolving contemporary dilemmas. Moreover, through the lens of civic engagement, such as debating land controversies, Socratic dialogues demonstrate their potential to enrich democratic practices, fostering a society that values critical discussion in the pursuit of societal improvement. This enduring impact of Socrates' methods and philosophy vividly illustrates their relevance and application in modern contexts, from education to ethical decision-making. The Socratic method empowers critical thinking through dialogue, where questioning dismantles assumptions to unveil deeper truths. By engaging in this method, learners transform into active participants, crafting inquiries that lead to profound insights, 
much like Socrates in Athens Agora, stimulating minds in pursuit of wisdom. This active engagement fosters environments where education transcends mere knowledge acquisition, nurturing critical analysis and reflective thinking skills essential in today's complex world. Virtuous living, according to Socrates, anchored on the premise that true knowledge begets moral excellence, delineates a path not only of ethical living but also of personal fulfillment. This notion posits that understanding the good naturally inclines one towards virtuous actions, illustrating how an informed existence is pivotal to navigating contemporary ethical challenges. In essence, Socrates' philosophy enlightens individuals on living meaningfully through the pursuit of wisdom and self-reflection. Meanwhile, the principle of the examined life invigorates a relentless quest for self-awareness, urging an introspective gaze into one's beliefs and actions. This philosophy, exemplified by Socrates' own life in the bustling heart of Athens, beckons today's society to reflect deeply on personal values and societal contributions, fostering a culture of thoughtful engagement and ethical integrity.